This is a modifying phrase from here to here, sounding as if the question is evaluating the challenges, which doesn't make sense, can be eliminated. Look at answer choice B. A very interesting problem here, you have female politicians, which is singular, and then you have they. Two problems here, female politicians is singular, they is plural. And another very subtle problem is that female politicians is possessive. So a possessive pronoun can be used, but a subject or object form of pronoun cannot be used. So B has two problems. Similar thing in answer choice D, possessive, not possessive, this is subject form and this is singular and this is plural, so this can be eliminated. See even here, there is plural and this is singular. So although the form is alright, the number is not plural, singular, doesn't agree. So it's between C and E now. The problem of pronoun has been taken care of here because this is subject form but then you have the noun here, female politicians. So all three forms, subject, object or possessive can be used and you have plural politicians, plural there agrees and there is also fine. Those is coming for qualifications. So pronouns have been taken care of. Comparison is alright as qualifications are as respected as qualifications of their male counterparts. So, a lot has been taken care of here. Same here also. Female politicians, the noun has come. Their qualification is alright because now we have a plural noun here. Comparison is alright as respected as those of qualifications of that means. There is alright for female politicians. So, from the perspective of core grammatical concepts, C and E are alright. There is a subtle difference here. You have if here and you have a whether. Now, if is used if it is is followed by a then clause. If something, comma, something else. If cause, comma, effect. That is where if is alright. And whether is used for showing alternatives. Look at the meaning here. It's only about showing alternatives of whether their qualifications are as respected or not. There isn't an if cause then effect relationship. See, if plus cause plus comma plus effect is the right usage. If cause, comma, effect. See, another thing is that then is not said. It is just assumed. If you promise to come along, comma, I shall also go to the event. Something like that. That isn't the meaning here. So C can be eliminated. E is the best answer choice.